Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in as always. And firstly, let me apologize for the delay in getting this one up. Believe it or not, I recorded this at the weekend. I plugged the microphone in, radio mic, but didn't switch it on. So I'm having to record the audio separately. Anyway, so today we're doing Co Shamey Green Star in the IK Foma. We've got Requires Ceramic Quick Detailer in the sprayer for any paintwork that needs cleaning. We've got Weak Pearl for plastics, and we've got a little bit of Built Hamber Touchless in the IK Foma just to neutralize any chemicals and do a second second dwell second rinse as per standard practice i've put a bag over the air filter battery and the alternator just not to get so not to get water jammed in there and we're just going to get koshe me green star over everything we can see and give it a good dwell and this is mixed one part green star to 20 parts water. It comes out nice and lively. Quite impressive, really. Quite impressive. So the reason I'm doing another engine bay cleaner, and I've done that before, but um, this is like a, an updated version Again, a little bit more chemical heavy, a good opportunity to trial the green star. Also, this time I'm introducing the usage of the pressure washer and not going to get in super close or jam water into injectors and things like that. So key areas, you know, create a little bit of distance, just to exercise caution. But also going to use the big boy blower to dry the engine bay, which should be good. Prevents any water dwelling in areas that it shouldn't be. So we'll just give that a little sit. At least recording the audio separately, you don't have to endure the clicking and clacking of the IK foamer being pumped up. And my apologies if it feels a bit disconnected. I'm always a massive fan of doing things real time. My first time is your first time. My old fashioned saying, my standard saying. So yeah, you can imagine how mortified I was when I connected this to the computer and thought, oh, there's no sound. There's no sound. <laughs> so I'm going to watch it back and hopefully narrate the information accurately. If there's any lengthy pauses, maybe I'll get some music in, eh? So I'll give that a little dwell. Use up all the product. There's about 900 mil. So I'll get all the product used up and we're away. See, it goes on quite well, and it comes out quite lively, really. I think I made a bit of an error with the um, dilution ratio. This was 90 mil Green Star and 810 mil of water. So it's one part Green Star, 10 parts water. And then we're just going over the dirtier areas with a... Vicam brush and as normal I always like to go in and get the plastic caps all nice and clean so once you've finished even if you've missed a few greasy nuts and bolts here and there or the product hasn't touched the greasy areas you still have nice clean caps so that when you get finished you can stand back have a look and it all looks wonderful and I was particularly keen to get the header tank super clean to improve the visibility so I could see where the, the liquid level was. Because I'd had a small leak on the Forester, the 90 degree bend at the bottom 
at the rad where the, or the bottom of the block where the thermostat is mounted had a small leak. So I was losing fluid and I think that was introducing a bit of air into the system as well. So I've been having a few problems with losing liquid, fluctuating header tank levels and no heater. Not that I need heater, but that was one of my tests that I did to double check whether things were working. And uh, naturally, it went straight in the garage, had a new thermostat just in case it was sticky thermostat. But as soon as they went into the 90 degree bend at the bottom, um, they immediately identified that there was a leak. So we fixed the leak, changed the thermostat as a matter of course, and all Forrester heating concerns are gone. So just going over with my old wheel woolly, any areas, larger flat areas that are visible and obviously paint anything that needs a little bit of a softer touch. What I learned from last time is I didn't get down into the sort of engine cradle, engine rails as well as I should have done. So I've put in a bit of extra effort in that area this time. To be fair, I did this probably <coughs> excuse me, a year ago, um, and it really didn't take much effort this time. It was quite, quite satisfying, really. Again, one layer of green star, a little bit of agitation, one layer of touchless, a little bit more agitation, and then we're close to good. Obviously, I didn't go mad on the inlet manifold. That really needs a recoat, but... Um, just dubious about taking it all apart. Anyway. Right, let's get this rinsed. Again, another benefit of not having the um, mic working at the time means you don't have to endure the blast sound of the pressure washer. So let's get some music in. So that's that all looking nice and now built hammer touchless probably relatively strong 150 mil touchless filled up and now going in the sprayer happy days just get that on just to neutralize the chemicals and as i say just a secondary Dwell and a secondary rinse. Why not? Baby, 
So just a little agitate around any areas you feel didn't have quite enough attention the first time round, and then in for second rinse. Once all that's taken care of, we can start getting in with the big boy blow R. Set to maximum, obviously, and hottest setting, fastest setting. And we'll just get in, get it all dry in all the little nooks and crannies, just to make sure everything is good and dry. And as you can see, we're starting to get a fairly nice looking result now. So happy, minimal manual labor as i often say chemical heavy
and now finishing touches so we're going in with pearl on all the plastics hoses rubbers etc etc and obviously staying away from anywhere it shouldn't be but it just gives you a nice nice gloss nice little bit of protection nice little bit of hydrophobicity and UV protection as well so all good and in areas you think right I don't want to be spraying near the alternator belt or the belt cover put it on the pad <laughs> spray on the pad wipe across it happy days so we'll whiz round all the plastics I'll speed this next section up and then a little bit on Meguiar's QD on any visible or accessible painted sections and then we'll wrap it up. And there we have it, job well done. All looking a bit cleaner and brighter than when we started. So, you know, not a show winning job, but quick and dirty, 20 minutes in, out, job done, happy days. So all the plastics look nice. My straws obviously look good. Plastic caps always put in a bit of extra effort on those. Makes you feel good at the end when you look at them and everything looks good and new and fresh. Happy days. Please accept my apologies about being an idiot and having to record the sound separately. But hey ho, there you go. So, the reason I wanted to get the engine bay clean, other than testing Koshe Me Green Star, I also made another video later today on installing the Subaru Genuine STI battery tie-down clamp. Nice little treat for the FODs. So there'll be a little bit, a little video coming of that later today. Anyway, so a nice job. Nice job. Come up well. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. As always, thanks for all your support, kind comments, discussions, shares, likes, etc, etc. All massively appreciated hope you enjoyed that one sorry it's a bit of a weird format i will try harder thanks everyone take care bye bye